Good afternoon to everyone here, those watching on the live stream, and the cool people I'm graduating with today. <laughs> Welcome to the graduation ceremony from McKinleyville High School's Class of 2021. Before we get started, we have some guests I would like to introduce. Roger McDonald, our district superintendent and former principal of McKinleyville High School. Our school board members, Teresa Grosjean, Brianne Lovell, Dana Silvernail, Cedric Aaron, and Aristea Salisbury. Our senior class advisor, Drew Riddle. Our academic, <laughs> our academic counselors, Ann Salberg and Casey Harmon. And all of our amazing teachers. A big thank you to our custodial, or our fabulous custodial staff and cl clerical staff for setting this all up today. I'm, I'm so glad to be here with you today and so glad we are able to be here to graduate today after such an unusual year. Let's have an amazing ceremony. We deserve it. Ayukui, Neknau Isabella Sunberg, Nepichuas Weo Garth, Nekuchos Weo Linda, Napesech Weo Randy, Nechek Weo Sonia, Shere Mewa Mechok, Fieldbrook Og. Hello, my name is Isabella Sunberg. My grandfather's name is Garth, my grandmother's name is Linda, my father's name is Randy, and my mother's name is Sonia. I come from Shere, I live in Fieldbrook. I have shared with you a small Yurok introduction because in my culture, it is respectful to introduce yourself and where you come from. As a fourth year Yurok language student at McKinleyville High School and a registered tribal member of the Trinidad Rancheria, I am honored as a Yurok descent to give the land acknowledgement for our 2020-21 graduation ceremony. McKinleyville High School acknowledges that the land on which McKinleyville High School sits is Wea ancestral land and Humble is the unceded territory and traditional ancestral homeland of the indigenous nations Hoopa, Karuk, Matol, Talua, Wailaki, Wea, Yurok, and other original inhabitants of Humboldt County. We respect and share our gratitude to indigenous communities. We thank and honor the original caretakers of this land that continues to be cherished and protected as elders have instructed the young through generations. Waklau. Thank you.
May everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, or National Anthem. My bad. <laughs> Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming at whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watch Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting I'm short. This is not okay. I think that'll work. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the senior class, we welcome all faculty, teachers, friends, and family for the graduation ceremony of the class of 2021 of McKinleyville High School. To the graduates, we made it. Four years ago, I was on this stage congratulating us on making it through middle school and the journey we were about to take on called high school. It's crazy to think that not too long ago, we were walking into this school as freshmen with our hearts on our sleeves, lost in the halls, and completely immersed into the high school experience. I want us to remember the first football game we went to, the first dance, and the first rally and battle cry as freshmen, to growing into ourselves as sophomores, creating our identities, and walking the halls thankful that we weren't freshmen anymore. <laughs> to remembering the battles we fought, the losses we had along the way, and the beautiful memories we made, to remembering when we sat in the dark in classrooms on power outage days, to when we fought alongside our teachers, and to when we won at homecoming as juniors. This journey we made to get here was never easy. There were many challenges, but we would have been lost without the relentless support from our teachers. To them, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart on the behalf of my class. May we always remember the laughs we had, the tangents we led you on, and the endless distress we put you through in these four years. I want to give special recognition to Mr. Riddle, our class advisor. Seniors, let's give Riddle a round of applause. We couldn't have had such a memorable four years here without your patience, advice, and support. Thank you so much. I also want to give a special thanks to our very own principal, Nick Collard. I can't say thank you enough to you for the dedication you have to every student at this campus, to checking in on us in the hallways, and knowing that I and many other seniors can always count on getting a wave hello or goodbye from you every day in the back parking lot. Thank you, Collard. <laughs> Looking back on these four years, 
we've all learned so many things, many that we believe we won't need, but nonetheless, there is one thing I will take with me wherever I go. Nothing is more important than the healthy relationships you build, nothing. I say this because we're sitting here today surrounded by our number one supporters. We built these not only at home in our family, but in our community and in our school. I want us to remember the journey we took to be here today, because every step along the way, we built those new bonds. Relationships are, we, are where we get to be generous with our time, we get to be impactful, intuitive, and be our best selves. I do hope you all remember this journey we took together and take these memories, experiences, and connections into whatever future you build for yourself. Thank you all and congratulations to the class of 2021. That's out of tune for sure.
Looks like I'm seeing more of my old man and me. Uh oh, it looks like I'm seeing more of my old man. Um, can everyone hear me all right? Just cool. This last year was something we've never experienced before. This past year, we've had to push ourselves farther with everything we do, as a class, as a school, and as a community. Whether that's going to the store, working at our jobs, or writing an essay. Things that felt natural before are more challenging than we could have ever imagined. We've all had our battles. We've all had days where we felt we weren't up to the task. Days where getting out of bed or something as simple as walking felt like a punishment or a challenge to overcome. When I was in the fourth grade, my grandmother uh, had a stroke. After a few weeks, she began physical therapy. I remember that picking up the TV remote was something she had to fight for. Her body was fighting against her mind. She couldn't work, she couldn't write, and she couldn't walk. One day I visited her in the hospital. They had a slow-moving treadmill for her to practice walking on. Above the handlebar on the top was a picture of the street, as if she was walking down it. I remember she pulled me aside. She told me that she would picture all of us her family, her friends, her job, all at the end of the road. That's what kept her walking. Growing up, walking is easy. We don't even think about walking, about taking the next step. But we've also had days where we couldn't walk, where we had to fight with ourselves to move forward. Each and every one of us, and that's okay. All of us here have lost friends, family. This past winter, I lost my grandmother. She was a teacher. For a couple of years, she even taught me. One lesson that she left me with, however, wasn't English or math. It was this. Don't stop walking. Keep going. To put it in our own words, you can do anything. You can even eat an elephant, but only if you take it bite by bite. Step by step, you can learn to walk again. You may feel like you've lost yourself, that you have to fight for control but you can't stop. You must keep walking. We all have our own roads, not just the young adults graduating today, everyone. We all have what keeps us walking. I'd like to ask something of everyone here today. Find your road. Find what you will walk for and keep walking. But understand that it's okay to take it one step at a time, to take it bite by bite. At the end of my road, I see my mother, my family, my friends, and in a way, myself, my future. I walk for them. I walk for me. I walk today so I can live tomorrow, so I can keep walking.
slow down, crazy child. You're so ambitious for a juvenile, but then if you're so smart, tell me why are you still so afraid? Where's the fire? What's the hurry about? You better cool it off before you burn it out. You've got so much to do and only so many hours in a day. you know that when the truth is told that you can get what you want or you can just get old you're gonna kick off before you even get halfway through Ooh, when will you realize Vienna waits for you slow down you're doing fine you can't be everything you want to be before your time Although it's so romantic on the borderline Tonight, tonight Too bad, well it's the life you lead You're so ahead of yourself that you forgot what you need Though you can see when you're wrong You know you can't always see when you're right You're right your passion, you've got your pride, but don't you know that only fools are satisfied? Dream on, but don't imagine they'll all come true. Ooh, when will you realize Vienna waits for you? Take the phone off the hook and disappear for a while It's alright, you can't afford to lose a day or two Ooh, why don't you realize Vienna waits for you And you know that when the truth is told That you can get what you want or you can just get old You're gonna kick off before you eat halfway through Ooh, why don't you realize Vienna waits for you when will you realize Vienna waits for you Good afternoon, friends, family, loved ones, and last but not least, the class of 2021. I am one for humility and modesty, but now is not the time. I mean, high school during a once in a lifetime global pandemic, we did that. Having to apply for colleges without ever visiting them, we did that. Graduating against all the odds with a positive outlook and hope for the future, yeah, we did that too. While this may seem like bragging, because it is, each and every one of us deserves to feel immense pride for making it to this day, even when it seemed impossible at times. And it did seem impossible at times. Like when we were pulling all-nighters for finals week, when blinking felt like short naps throughout the day. Or like when our junior slash senior year went virtual. We are literally graduating with only two full years of in-person high school, but I guess I feel prepared. Or like when at some point in our high school career, we all inevitably Googled, how necessary is it that I graduate high school? I mean, we've all been there. But when thinking about what I was going to write about, many speech topics crossed my mind. Should I reminisce on our chaotically awkward freshman year, which fashion choices I still will not publicly discuss till this day? Should I recall the tales of our stressful sophomore year, reflect on the jarring junior year memories, 
maybe even review this past senior year. Although, this year is kind of hard to remember. I guess it was just normal. While these are all great speech topics, and it is always good to take a trip down memory lane, I wanted to focus more on the future. What happens after we all walk across this stage pridefully, diplomas in hands, feeling both equally terrified and excited for what the future brings. I thought maybe I should share some advice. That would be a good speech idea, like how to make your life a walk in the park 101, or how to be successful for dummies. But the truth is, I don't have the qualifications to give such advice. I haven't learned enough about the real world yet. I haven't failed enough, experienced a world outside of my own, laughed enough, cried enough, or even yelled enough to, give, to hold the infinite wisdom for that kind of speech. I am in the same boat as, uh, of uncertainty as the 110 students who are seated beside me. I simply cannot predict what the future holds for each and every one of us, but what I can do is hope. I can only hope that each and every one of your lives is like a rose garden during spring and that your troubles stay at bay forever. However, I know this hope is unrealistic, delusional even, because life isn't a rose garden for anyone, no matter your grades, which college you got into, how many friends you have, none of this guarantees a rose garden. And while I am unqualified to give, my, to give advice on the future, I am qualified to give you my hopes for it. Because hope requires only that you believe in it. And I can confidently say that I believe in all of us. I hope that you find your passion, what gets you out of bed in the morning, and pursue it no matter what anyone thinks. I hope you follow your heart with a little bit of input from your head because it is the strongest light guiding you in the right direction. I hope you find your destiny, and most importantly, I hope you find self-happiness and fulfillment. I hope that when you fail, because it will happen, you learn how to fail with grace and use it to motivate yourself to reach your full potential. I hope that on your darkest days, when it feels like the sky is filled with nothing but storm clouds, you find it in yourself to remember what the sun feels like and that the sun will be there if you just give it time. I hope that while, not, I hope that while it may seem like nothing is consistent and everything in your life is changing now, you know that every single morning, the birds will sing, the moon will set, and life will begin again, just as it always has. So, to the class of 2021, I hope you do amazing things in the future and wish you all the best. And I hope that you remember that you are the sun and that you too will rise, just as you always have. Thank you. Students, thank you so much for sharing your words and music with us. It is truly a hard act to follow. Throughout this pandemic, I've been so impressed with our students' resilience and perseverance, and I wish we had time to recognize each of them for what they have accomplished. As you can see in your programs, many of our students walking across the stage today have cords and medals signifying awards and honors they have earned. Honors such as the Seal of Bioliteracy, where our students demonstrated proficiency in speaking, reading, and writing in one or more languages in addition to English, or our CTE completers, and many more. But I would like to take a moment and ask that the students who have the gold tassel on their cap stand up for a moment to be recognized. Our wonderful academic counselors, Mrs. Salberg and Mrs. Harmon are going to present each of you with a gold cord. Ladies and gentlemen, these students earn this cord by being in the top 10% of their class based upon their grade point average. Let's give them a big round of applause for their hard work and achievement. Thank you all. Dylan and Mackenzie shouldn't have sat down. Actually, can you please join me up on the stage here for a few moments?
completing high school is not an easy task, and to do it while taking the most rigorous courses and while maintaining the highest grades is even more amazing. That is why it is my honor to present to you all with a grade point average of 4.54, the salutatorian of the 2021 graduating class, Mackenzie Bray. And with a grade point average of 4.571, our 2021 valedictorian, Dylan Dolson Gonzalez. Congratulations to both of you for all your hard work. Good job, you guys. <laughs> to the graduating class of 2021, where do I begin? Trying to sum up the ride that you have been on these past four years is a seemingly impossible task. For every group of seniors is memorable but you are truly a group for the history books. In the past, my message during this ceremony has been one last lesson, one last piece of advice to bestow upon our graduates as a parting gift. Yet as I sat down and thought about the journey you've been on since your freshman year, I struggled with what to say. And trust me, it takes a truly special group of people to make me speechless. But then the metaphorical light bulb lit up and I realized that I was going about this all wrong. Rather than trying to teach you something, I realized I should use this time to say thank you <clears throat> for all you've taught me. You have taught me that when our lives are unpredictable and uncertain, there is strength in staying calm, taking a step back, and looking for the small victories as you build towards the bigger ones. I've learned through your humility and your hard work that true leadership and true change can only come through service and by putting those you care about first. By watching the friendships you have built and the bonds you have made, I have learned that when you have a community, you can work through any tragedy, any loss, and come out the other side okay. These lessons and so many more are your legacy. In other words, what I need to say to all of you is, thank you, I will miss you, and I love you. Mr. McDonald and members of the board, <laughs> I'm going to get through this, I promise. <laughs> Mr. McDonald and members of the board, I am pleased to present you the members of the McKinleyville High School class of 2021. They have met all the requirements for graduation set forth by the state of California and the Northern Humboldt Union High School District. The McKinleyville High staff has done an outstanding job mentoring and challenging them, and I know this class of 2021 will make you proud. Oh, good afternoon. Um, it's funny, usually I'm like really nervous <clears throat> at graduations, and this is like the fourth to five, and all I'm filled with right now, and I have been throughout the day, is gratitude. And like Nick said, you know, love and appreciation for, for everyone that's here, for our community, for our students, and for our staff. Um, it really has been um, a tremendous ride. And now I, I think I'll like lean into my prepared comments and see if I remember what I said. The first thing is I want to thank Nick and the team here at McKinleyville High School for all that they do, all that you do, to provide for the students and to make sure um, that they know that they're deeply appreciated in love and the culture that's been built here at the campus of McKinleyville High School of Inclusion. I do wish to spread a little gratitude around and to start with the family and community who are gathering with us today in person and virtually. Um, you have supported us tremendously throughout the last year plus or whatever it has been. And when I know that sometimes you're not happy with us and you're critical of decisions that we make, it all comes from a place of love and a shared concern for our students. And that no matter what, you are always there for us when we need you, no matter what it is. Um, our continued community pride is the foundation of our district, and we could not achieve what we do without all of your support, your feedback, and your love. From the Kilville High faculty and staff, you've put all of your energy into taking care of your students and navigating the unpredictable maze that has been this pandemic. 
You stretched yourselves. Well, it was not easy. I know that today this has to be satisfying for you. You really did a tremendous job caring for our kids. And you, seniors, I am super proud of you for meeting all the challenges that have been thrown at you. And a lot of them have been mentioned today over the four years. It's not just the last year. You've had an interesting ride at McKinleyville High School. And you've really done well. Um, it's been unique and like nothing that I've seen in 25 years in public education. And one thing that I want to talk about briefly is around the world people are talking about how much that we should mourn for these students and like the learning loss that you've experienced. And while I agree that it's been difficult, I think that you're more ready than many of us adults think that you are. I mean, how much did you learn about yourself this year? You were alone at times, you were independent, you were virtually in involved with not only school, but oftentimes friends and family in the greater world. I wonder what did you accomplish that you never thought that you would have had things been normal? From a parent's perspective, I've seen my two girls become much more independent and able to solve problems on their own. I imagine that the same can be said about all of you and more. From a superintendent's perspective, I've seen many of you engage in the school and the greater community to a larger degree than I've ever seen before. And lastly, I wanna thank you students for the respect and enthusiasm in which you've come back to campus. While I was impressed with the manner in which you made the virtual experience as personal as anyone could possibly have done, I have to say that safely mingling with you on campus and attending your community and sporting events has made me whole, so I thank you. We gather today to celebrate your accomplishments and your perseverance. I call on all of you to take what you've learned over the course of four years and make your mark on the community and beyond. I know that you will make us all proud. To the governing board members of the Northern Humboldt Union High School District, I certify that these seniors have met the requirements of the state of California and the Northern Humboldt Union High School District, and with a tremendous amount of pride, I present to you these exceptional candidates to accept the class of 2021. Ms. Grosjean. Let's see if I can get this up. Hello, everyone. I'm honored to be here this afternoon representing the Northern Humboldt Union High School District's Board of Trustees. Being a part of this ceremony that marks the culmination of our students' high school careers is both exciting and inspiring and is one of my favorite parts of being on the school board. We are also grateful for the amazing support our community, parents, teachers, and staff give to our schools, and most importantly, our students and their success. Class of 2021. Your experience during your time at McKinleyville High School was not the one you expected. Through a global pandemic, you weathered a complete upheaval of how you were taught, how you learned, how you connected, and how you communicated. I believe I speak for all my fellow trustees when I say we are so impressed by the resiliency you have all shown and are in awe of your determination to create new rites of passage to replace what was lost. I know that as you all set out on the next chapter in your lives, this class will bring with it a strength of character and spirit that will lead you to great success in your future. So, on behalf of the entire Northern Humboldt Union High School District's Board of Trustees, it is my tremendous honor to formally certify that all graduates here have met the requirements set forth by the state of California and accept them as the McKinleyville High School graduating class of 2021. Congratulations and best of luck to you all. Mackenzie Rose Bray. <laughs> Quinlan Dale Rochelle Maynor.
<laughs> Isaac Glenn Ward. Ashlyn Marie Reed. <laughs> Dylan Brandon Dolson Gonzalez. James John Perry. <laughs> Olivia Louise K. Alexander. Xavier Quinn Dozwa. Corbin Matthew Eichen. Gabrielle Michelle Wadsworth. <laughs> Isabella Lorraine Sunberg. Alyssa Benet Kringle. <laughs> Aiden Michael Childs. Sonny George Nystrom. <laughs> Nate Thomas Botzler. Lance Shepard Aitken. <laughs> Emily Rose Whitmer. Kylie Alyssa Wilson Pifferini. <laughs> Aaliyah Mardico Crackle. Delaney Ray Christie.
Olivia Lou Rink. Alexandra Brooke Clifford. Julia Corinne Haler. Carmen Lynn Benavides Garb. Soren Malik Culps. <laughs> Narayan Kabir Weibel. Nathan Robert Witte. <laughs> Blake Austin Vote. Radel Omar Gonzalez Fregoso. <laughs> Christian Vladetta Gaich. Ethan Riley Shelley. <laughs> Callum James Morrison. Dustin James Hunnicky. <laughs> Micah Daniel Patrick Stevens. Howard Franklin Henderson. <laughs> Samuel Quinn Gregorio. Nolan Oswald Schwade. <laughs> Logan Emmanuel Morias. Caden J. Rasmussen. <laughs> Julian Guerrero.
Trinity Burnett. Alondra Elizabeth Bazan. <laughs> Madison Faith Petronic. Sarah Aldora Bonner. <laughs> Megan Fay Rose. Kaylee Ann Brandon Nelson. <laughs> Shanna Marie Hodges. Jada Kyoko Law. <laughs> Cody James Kaler. <laughs> Kelly. Rose Scollard. Oh, well Hopper Watson Ellis. Oh, well <laughs> Alicia Jade Scollard. Hannah Kaylee Holcomb. <laughs> Damian Latrell Lunsford. Kirsten Lila Geneve Bangson Grimes. <laughs> Tyler Lee Thompson. Haley Catherine Mangle. <laughs> West Frisco Wood. Kaylee May Armstrong. Caden right Thomas Lamb. Right 
Kylie Marie Townsend. Jaden Michael Scher. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley Lorraine Alves. Cole Henry Parker. Cameron Crowley Heenan. Jada Nicole Hayes. T. Ryan Nana Stump. Brooke Ellen Foster. <laughs> Jack Gale Dwayne George. Ashley Renee Ballou McPherson. Yeah. Orion William Aguilar. Natasha Olivia Hank. <laughs> Isabella Brooke Jacobs. Mercy Danielle Arnold. <laughs> Devin Michelle Collins Timble. Christina Joelle Bigos. Dana Lee Gleaton. Anastasia Leah Briggs. Josephine Van Doe. Earl 
Moon. Alexander Jerry Reinschmidt. Gavin Hagler. Jenna Mackenzie Crandall. Taylor Octavia Wisely. Aiden Kane Daw. Jaden Andrew Atkins Nash. Georgia Marie Hernandez. Jacob Anthony Palacio. Justin Inez Perez. Trevin Patrick Maciel. Dick Lolly, Guadalupe Contreras. <laughs> Lee Mather. Haley Marie Price. Folks, this is always that time where we need to wait and make sure uh, we get everybody their picture. So a few moments of awkward silence until we get everybody seated, and then we'll stand back up and celebrate all these graduates. So give us just a few moments. I don't want to ruin your graduation with me singing. That would be, that would. <laughs> Look, I, it, it lasted. <laughs> oh. If I was going to sing for you, I'd sing. I would sing Don't Stop Believing. But thank God that uh, we are close to me not having to do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I would say, folks, before we uh, do the final celebration, instead of me singing, can we just give everybody here one big round of applause for coming out and celebrating these students? <laughs> All right. 
So, students, seniors, graduates, it is now that time. Would you all please stand up? Now, please move your tassels from the right to the left. Orchestra, if you're ready. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so honored and so proud to present to you the graduating class of 2021. 